Hello. Trying to figure out here if we are, there we go. Seemed to be a little bit of a delay going live, but here I am. Hi. Hello and welcome everyone to Three of Cups, Divine Arts. Let me know if this is a little bit glitchy because it looks a little bit glitchy on my end. So let's find out. Okay, a couple people have joined. Um, does this look glitchy? Because I am I keep getting it like it keeps twitching on my end. And let's see if for some reason... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share the broadcast out and just kind of stick with it, and I'm going to hope that it's all smooth on your end. Um, but again, um, sounds fine, looks fine, and for some reason I'm still not getting comments um, on the page. So James, thank you. Um, I'm going to have to watch um, the comments um, on my phone because for some reason it doesn't like to... I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, thank you for joining. Um, this is Liz Whitaker of Divination Station Tarot. I'm just going to go ahead and share this out a few places like I always do. There we go. Um, and I would love if you did share this out because um, as always we are trying to um, expand the reach um, of Three of Cups Divine Arts. And I'm trying to scroll down here to see where else to share. Okay, that'll be fine for now. Okay, so today, um, again, thank you for joining um, Three of Cups Divine Arts. I'm going to go ahead and start watching the, I'm sorry, start going over the pages. So we're going to start getting into the, we're getting into the um, court cards. Um, so again, I'm just trying to send, share this to a couple pages because, oh, um, if you are not yet part of the Three of Cups Divine Arts group, um, please join. We would love to have you. Um, there's um, a ton more content there. Um, you'll get the lives, you'll get posts, you'll get all of that. Okay. Okay, and again, I'm going to have to watch the comments on here, so please bear with me if it's a little bit less, a little bit less smooth than it could be. Um, so we're talking about the pages today. They are, Maria Pia, hello. Um, so as you are um, joining, please say hello. Um, if you want to let us know where you are watching from, that would be awesome. Um, again, I'm Liz Whitaker of Divination Station Tarot. I do use she, her pronouns, and I'm from Buffalo, New York. Um, so the pages are the first of the court cards. Um, so they are the youngest energy. They're like the adventurous kid energy. So, Mick, hello. So last week we talked about the kind of intro to the pages, or the intro to the court cards. So we talked about each of the energies as a little bit um, of a snippet. Today we're going to be going, <laughs> Jenna, hello, I was beginning to wonder. Um, James, hello. San Francisco. 
All right. Um, so of course, as you're popping in and you do share, please comment hashtag shared, and I'll go ahead and get you a reading at the end of the broadcast. Greetings from Dallas. Um, so Mick, I just finished season two of the Umbrella Academy, and there's a ton. It's all in Dallas, so I kept thinking about you um, throughout the whole season. And I won't spoil the plot in case anybody want, wants to watch it. Okay, so the pages are the youngest energy of the court. So they are the traditionally pages were the kind of, they did what the knights asked. They were there to, um, you know, get, get make sure they were ready. And I always picture um, Sword in the Stone where they have Sir Kay and then Arthur, young Arthur is his page. That's kind of what I always picture. Um, they're the younger, uh, they want to be a knight someday, so as they help the knight get prepared, um, it's like they're learning, they're learning the, their, they're learning the ropes from kind of the bottom up. So it's kind of that, like, apprentice energy, kind of. Um, they have potential. So they're students, they have potential. They have this um kind of untapped enthusiasm in that suit and as the the courts progress that's it's like a shortened version of the minor arcana right um so they're learning new things they're all about that pure potential and how much can you learn so it has a little bit of the energy of the um, of the aces in that way where it's the potential and you're learning what you can you're growing there's room for growth so we're going to look at um writer again writer weight smith we're going to look at thoth and today i have modern which deck um because i wanted to, to look at um, a little bit different um, version of the pages and kind of looking at them together So we'll go ahead and look at Page of Wands. So this is, of course, the classic Rider Waite Smith. And this one is the Modern Witch. So Modern Witch is basically a retelling. So you have the same colors. You have those yellows, those oranges, those reds. And you have the same background, right? They're starting off on this new journey in um, in the desert, okay? <laughs> Alex, hello. Yes. Woohoo, indeed. So pages, the page of wands, and if you look here, the core cards are all about the, the symbols that they have because the figures themselves aren't really active, okay? They're poised. So here he is, this figure is about to start a journey. And here, so one of the things about the wand suit is you're going to see the salamander. You're going to see different motifs. Okay, salamanders are, they were called fire lizards because they used to run out of the fire. So before people really understood what they were, uh, people thought they kind of came from the fire. So you have this idea of being birthed from flames, which is kind of intense when you think about it. But so is the wand suit right? We're at the court cards. We're at like that ultimate like intensity. So salamanders are <laughs> Adrian, Lame, Ohio. I mean, Western New York is, you know, it's not that much better. <laughs> Elena, hello. Um, so the pages are all about, you know, jumping out of the fire into adventure. Really, the salamanders were just were 
kind of stuck on the logs and they just came out as it got hot. They didn't really weren't birthed from the flames, but that's certainly something fun to like picture, right? So you're going to have that motif. Uh, Page of Wands, our adventure. And I was looking at, um, so I used um, Ethany Dawn's book, Your Tarot Court, and she has some kind of fun um, pop culture associations for the, the courts. And for the Page of Wands, she has Peter Pan. So it's that Peter Pan energy, um, that adventure, always looking for adventure, not really maybe very responsible. Um, because in both of these, it's not necessarily the smartest thing to wear in a journey into the desert. But it's certainly a good outfit, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so, Adrian, you're familiar with Western New York. Um, so that's Page of Wands, and when we get to the Thoth deck, pages are princesses, okay? And you're going to see this um, with some of the, with different decks. You're going to see the courts call different things. In the Wild Unknown, you have father, mother, son, and daughter. So same kind of archetypes, but different names. So here in the Thoth deck, we have the Princess of Wands. And here, you know, it's really about getting swept away on the adventure. She's got a tiger. So this is all about getting swept away. I really like that imagery too. So you have the wand there and it's like the sun on a stick. Okay, and that is Princess of Wands. And as I'm looking here, there is no, um, I don't see the imagery. I don't see the symbols of the planets and the zodiac. Um, but here you do have um, the ram's head, which would, you know, make me think of Aries. And it's fire anyway, so we're in that realm, right? So that is the Thoth deck. Um, so now we're going to be to the cups. Page of cups. So here's the traditional Rider Waite Smith. Right, again, we're kind of jauntily dressed. Um, the pages have that kind of like, they represent as that, again, that fun, young energy. And this is the modern witch. So it's like a modern take on that outfit. And I love the hair in this. I love the little buttons. Um, so here, the, the fish, you're all, you're, you're going to see this in most page of cups in some way, shape, or form. Um, the fish in the cup is, it's romance. It's emotions. Because remember, cups are emotions and feelings. And you're presenting, it's emotions, right? Uh, page of cups is also, um, it's artistic. It's empathy. So when Page of Cups show up, it's like you are learning a new way to communicate compassion. Um, this can also represent very artistic endeavors, um, like theater. And again, there's the Page of Cups in the Modern Witch. Um, so here, that... Uh, that archetype is the empath, so full of compassion, learning those new ways, learning to like navigate um, a new way of thinking. So if you've just gone through shadow work, therapy, anything like that, um, when you kind of come out on the other side, you feel a little bit raw and a little bit exposed. That's kind of that page of cups energy.
And in the Thoth deck, the Princess of Cups. So here, we have this, a lot of imagery from the water. We have the swan. Um, we have a turtle kind of being presented in this, in this cup. The fish is over there. And then the whole gown is very, it's scalloped. Right, it looks like like a conch shell. The lotus, of course, coming from the depths, and the whole thing looks like there's this big fish tail winding around. Um, so that is Princess of Cups, and again, a really good representation of that. Um, coming into that high, <laughs> um, into that energy. And of course I can't actually like pick him up cause he'll just flop around and act like he doesn't know how to interact with humans. Hi. Um, if again, if you are watching, please comment hashtag shared and I will get you on the list for a card at the end. And I will be using the Modern Witch deck since I have it out already. Okay, so the next page is Page of Swords. Page of Swords looks like he has a bit of an attitude, right? So this is that full of potential, right? But is really eager. Remember, swords are air, communication. It's our intellect, how we think. Um, Page of Swords what kind of came down here is a for the whole is like having something to prove right so the the page of swords is you know the one that wants to serve the knight but it's always like like overacting overreaching over overreaching you know is kind of what i'm picturing uh, the one that tries to you know do do as much as the knight right but hasn't quite learned the ropes. Um, so very eager to get out there, right? Sometimes it's, it's, you are being very quick and harsh with words. And here as you're watching the clouds, you kind of have that like storm rolling in energy. You can kind of see the trees bending back there. Um, it looks like the clouds are like going and then you have all of the birds up there. And here's the Page of Swords in the Modern Witch deck. Doesn't look quite as um, impetuous, doesn't look quite as, one moment, like over eager. But there's a, there is a confidence and there is a like very calm, very nonplussed, I can do this kind of look to this page of swords. Princess of swords. Um, so here, again, we have those kind of sharp geometric figures, those lines in the back that we saw through the, um, throughout the minors. And this reminds me of um, Athena. And that's, this, again, is just my first intuitive impression, kind of like, bursting and it looks like kind of like bursting out of the roof ready to fight the sky that's that energy of the page of swords right um really ready to kind of like fight whatever and you don't even get to see the face but you get that idea of that like bursting out energy Yes, the fizz from my uh, my seltzer startled me just now. So <laughs> there's that. Um, and the archetype for the Page of Swords um, in the Ethany Dawn book is the detective. So they want to figure it out. They want to know everything. Trudy, hello. Um, they want to figure it out. And it's almost... 
so the detective has to be patient though, right? Hope, hello, Trudy, gotcha. Um, so that is the archetype of the page of swords, putting things together, okay, is what I'm getting with that. Page of Pentacles. Um, this one's kind of the most kind of laid back, like his, he's not really wearing anything that fancy. Um, it's kind of a pastoral setting. Um, you kind of see the beginnings of that, the, that like flowering idea that you get through the rest of the, the rest of the courts. Those pentacles, of course, are the earth, the energy of the earth grounding. And here he's holding the pentacle like he's interested, like he wants to know more. And here is the modern witch. So this really looks like that student archetype to me, right? Really looking at um, getting ready to learn, not being over eager, not being, you know, really having it in a fair and balanced way. can't believe I said that, but having a very balanced way of going about it. Again, that's that, um, that's that grounding energy, okay, that you're going to have with the Page of Pentacles. And that just plain yellow background is just full of joy. And Princess of Discs. So I've never really sat down and looked at a lot of the Thoth deck. Um, but this, I'm um, doing these and showing the Thoth deck alongside um, really getting a feel for how the energies kind of compare and contrast. Michelle, hi! You did! Awesome! This is really that like earth princess and I'm really getting such like an earth witch vibe from this. Right? It looks like she has this cloak, this like fur cloak, um, the tree branches also kind of look like antlers, the braids, and the coin is, it looks like a flower, and we have that yin-yang in there. So the, even the disc and the coin looks a little bit more like the earth energy and less like the material, the money energy. I really like, I really like the way that this kind of translates. Um, so Princess of Discs, um, or Page of Pentacles, uh, seeks to make their mark on the world. Um, also the Naturalist. Okay, and you can kind of see that um, as well. Um, so to kind of recap here, um, we have the Page of Wands. which is that adventure energy. Quest for adventure, that Peter Pan energy. Um, Erica, yeah, absolutely. Um, for this, you just got to share out, comment hashtag shared, and we gotcha. Sunshine, hi, how are you? I feel like it's been a while since you've been on. I hope all is well. All right, so Page of Cups, again, is that artistic, compassionate, empathetic, empathic energy. Page of Swords, that quest for glory. And Page of Pentacles, looking to make your mark on the world. And the Naturalist. Okay, so that is <laughs> uh, 
um, a basic overview of the, the pages and getting a little bit deeper into the archetypes that they represent. Um, and as, so now we'll talk a little bit about how they're going to show up in a reading um, and what to do if they kind of don't feel like they fit. So there are a lot of readers who will interpret um, court cards as very literally. So they will say, you know, the Page of Cups is a young man between the ages of, you know, 13 and 17 with light brown hair. Um, who is that in your life? And you can be sitting there and be like, well, I, I don't know. You know, I don't, that doesn't resonate. Um, so I different, I distance myself from that interpretation because I don't necessarily think that they're literal. Uh, they can be, you know, I've said this, uh, I said this last week in the intro, if you're reading and you're describing that archetype, you're describing that energy, and the person you're reading for is like, oh my God, you know, that's my blank. That's who it is, okay? That's how they're showing up in that reading. It could be their partner, it could be their parent. You know, it doesn't have to be someone that's younger than the sitter, or the reader. Um, it's, it's all about that archetype and that energy. So as you are reading, and you want to look at and pay attention to what what direction the card is facing and what's surrounding it. If it is um, in, but see what it's in between, above, below, and that's how you really want to interpret that page energy. Um, so, just for an example, I'm just going to pull a couple cards from the top here. So, if you have the page of cups. And then you have the Ace of Cups. And then you have Queen of Pentacles. So that can be, you know, there's not really a lot, move, a lot of movement. But what you would look at is, so there is that new, that student energy, learning how to express that. That's going to bring about a whole new realm of emotions. So it could be a new relationship. It could be approaching a relationship in a different way. And it's very successful, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles, we'll look at that in a couple weeks. We'll look at the Queens. But you can even see here how the, the Pentacles suit kind of matures, right? It's fuller. There's more growth. So there's growth and grounding in that, okay? And I'll just pick a couple more. So... We're looking at the Page of Swords, and then we get Ten of Cups and King of Wands. So Page of Swords is that, you know, learning how to handle yourself. So it's learning how to handle yourself in situations, but even when you get to that like happy family, happy moment, that successful moment, it's, you kind of want to get more, right? So this is about um, working very hard for something and then wondering why you wanted that in the first place. Okay, that's what I'm getting with these cards. So that's kind of how you're, you're going to work the, the pages into a reading. Um, and I know in both of those random examples, other court cards popped up which we haven't really gone over. But hopefully that makes some sense there. Um, and if you are reading them, really tune into your intuition. What is this, what is this saying? What does this new energy mean? Does it mean, you know, there was stagnant energy before? And the person, you know, the person you're reading for needs to break out of this energy. And don't, you know, don't hesitate to ask questions, too, if you are reading for someone or even if you're reading for yourself. Okay. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to shuffle and get ready for the um, mini readings here. If you have any questions about the pages, uh, you know, don't hesitate to um, ask. Either here, or you can't. Gosh. Um, you can always message me um, if you like. You can always like um, the Divination Station page. Um, that is my personal page um, for my readings. Um, let's see if I can. There we go. Um, if you are in the Buffalo area, um, I am doing readings in person at Rising Goddess. Um, if you are not, um, I do video readings. So I can do uh, like Facebook chat or Zoom or FaceTime or whatever you have. Um, I am scheduling those readings as well. Exactly. What you're feeling as you're reading is just as important. And when I teach my tarot classes, um, one of the things that I say and really try to get across is intuition. Your intuition is, is as important as anything else. If you're looking at, you know, if you're looking at one of the cards and something in particular is sticking out to you, like the pattern here, right? The flowers. Pull on that. Kind of pull that thread and see what comes out, okay? And that's especially important, you know, with the court cards because they do tend to represent people. And that can make it a little bit more difficult than a concept. Like Six of Swords is leaving. Um you know, making an exit, you know, that's a concept that's easier to kind of understand. The core cards are people and archetypes and energies and how we interact with everybody. And that can be a little bit more difficult. So you really want to tune into your intuition when you're doing that. Um, so you can always book me for a, a private reading. Um, Again, in person in Buffalo at um, Rising Goddess, um, distance readings through Facebook chat or, you know, anything like that. I do prefer video. I can do a phone call too, um, anything like that. Um, yeah, and make sure on Saturdays you do catch um, Bridget and Mythic Journeys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start pulling cards. Um, if you have not yet shared or comment hashtag shared, please do so. Um, again, I am um, reading the comments on my phone because they're not showing up on my screen for some reason because dumb. Anyway, Jennifer, hi. Um, Jenna, you are first. Wonderful to see. I have been wondering where, where you've been. I hope all is well. I know you got a lot going on with, with the truck and the fiber and the arts. Um, so I'm doing mini readings today with the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Again, it is, it is, it is known as a Rider Waite Smith clone, but that's okay. Um, cause it's done with a twist and I'm good with it. Carrie, hello. All right, Jenna, Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords. So here, what I'm kind of getting is really stepping out. You are pulling, you are... You are in a situation that maybe wasn't so good and you're like, I'm out, I'm gone, I'm leaving. And kind of taking your leave from that situation. And you're kind of taking from that situation, you're taking lessons, you're taking knowledge from that. So it might be viewed as opportunistic, but... Oh, well. <laughs> um, so that's Seven of Swords, and that is for Jenna. 
Um, again, it feels like you're you're leaving a situation that was not really fitting, and you kind of you got what you could out of the situation, and now it's time to leave. All right, Maria Pia, you are up next. Jenna, you got it. And definitely keep an eye on the other shows um, for Three of Cups Divine Arts. We are kind of retooling and kind of getting back in the swing of things here. Um, so there's going to be a lot more going on. So definitely pop into the group. Um, join the group. Um, if you haven't, there's going to be, like I said, there's some really cool stuff kind of ready to ready to go on. Maria Pia, Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords is that, like, overwhelm, so much going on. Um, what I'm kind of getting here for you is that overload of information, okay? Um, she's got a phone in her hand and really kind of, like, laying down all of the swords there. Um, the sky is dark. The ground is, you know, it looks like there's like crystals popping up, but they're not like, they're not like pretty sparkly crystals. They're sharp and jagged. So what can you do to protect yourself right now? OMG, does that, does that resonate? <laughs> um, what can you do to protect yourself right now? Okay, so what can you retool? What can you put down? What kind of like boundaries and barriers can you put up to protect you? All right, Alex, you are next. Oh my gosh, that is... And from what I understand, 100% um, that's where a lot of people were. It started today. I've, I saw on my feed parents, teachers, kid, you know, young parents with young kids and Zoom crashed and everything was just <sighs> figuring it all out. All right, Alex, you are next. And definitely keep an eye. Um, Alex and I have been working on some um, art stuff. Um, she's been being my artistic voice because I'm not artistic. I'm creative, but I'm not artistic. Um, and Alex has been awesome enough to kind of pick up, pick that up for me. Um, we're doing some rehab jewelry boxes into witch kits. So keep an eye out. We've done a few so far um, and kind of pulling it all together here. So definitely keep an eye out. It'll be in Three of Cups. It'll be in Divination Station. Um, it'll be in my Etsy shop, Rising Goddess. It'll be all over. Alex, Queen of Wands. You are learning how to approach the throne, okay? You're learning how to approach the throne. Um, she is, she takes up space. She knows who she is, what she wants. Michelle, I'm sure you're creative. Every So I always question my, like, creativity, right? But once I kind of sat down and I'm like, I have all these ideas to do this. And I'm like, wait a minute, I am creative. I'm just not artistic. So I need that artistic, um, that artistic hand to come to like be with me. It's a weird way to say it, but, um, yes, I am on Etsy. Um, I have my spell bags. I haven't, um, I'll post it. Um, I haven't posted the boxes yet because they're still, um, pretty new. Um, we did a couple on the Rising Goddess sale, um, the sale event that we did. Um, I'm really trying, to, honestly, I'm trying to figure out shipping on them 
because some of them are fairly large and I just need to find basically flat right boxes that they'll all fit in. Um, I'll go ahead and pop my Etsy link down here. Um, but yeah, so the, um, the box that Alex painted <laughs> um, is not on there. Um, we do have someone lined up for it, so we're kind of giving them a few days to, um, to pull the trigger on that. Um, and then if not, it'll get listed. But so Alex, yeah, you are really learning how to approach that throne. Okay, it feels like you're not quite there, but you're you're approaching it, you're figuring out how to get on there. And once you do, you're never going to leave. Okay, once you get up there, you're like, Milagros, hello. All right. Um, it feels like once you get up there and once you kind of like figure out all of those like unknowns of yourself, you're really not, you're not going to get down. Okay. And that was for Alex, Queen of Wands. And again, in a couple weeks, we'll be going over, um, over the Queens. All right, James Engel, you are next. Tammy, hello. Um, so if you are just joining and you do want a card, I'm at the mini reading portion. Um, please share the broadcast out. Comment hashtag shared. And we'll get you a card. Um, and if you have not yet liked Three of Cups Divine Arts page, definitely do that. Like or follow. Again, we're getting back in the swing of things here, so there'll be a lot more a lot more movement, a lot more action. James, Queen of Cups. So again, you know, more court cards keep popping up. Um, Queen of Cups is all about intuition, all about compassion. It's the energy that when you see someone, um, you're welcome. When you see someone suffering, you can't help but step in. You want to help. If you see, you know, someone in pain, you want to help. Um, and again, this, these energies are not necessarily gendered. So, and you know, James, I'm getting this energy for you specifically. Okay. So very caring, very deep soul, uh, who just can't help, but helping can't help, but help. Um, just make sure that you don't empty out that, you know, that wonderful cup full of emotions before you get your, before you reserve some for yourself. Okay. Um, uh, make sure that you are taking care of yourself show, as you are others show up for yourself the way you do for others. Okay. And that was for James Engel. Elena, you are next. And Elena, I saw your uh, Ruth Bader, Ruth Bader Ginsburg fuzzy today, and it was amazing. I, I shared it around a couple places. All right, Elena, Eight of Swords. I feel like you just got this too. So Eight of Swords, trust in your intuition. Don't get so caught up on those details around you. It is Virgo season now. Um, and one thing kind of keeps coming up. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay. It is the kind of message in my um, Virgo empowerment kit that is on my Etsy shop. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, And I, one of the other ones, it's like, you are a treasure. So right now, again, trust your intuition. Don't let yourself get stuck by yourself. Right? <laughs> and that might be a persistent energy that kind of pops up for you, like, all the time. <laughs> and it's just something that we have to constantly work on, right? Right?
All right, Trudy, you are next. Trudy, death, transformation. So death is very rarely, everybody, it's one of the cards that everyone gets like scared of when they see it, right? It's very rarely um, actual, <clears throat> you're welcome, Elena. Um, it's very rarely actual physical death. Um, what this is feeling like for you, um, again, this is for Trudy, it feels like you are, um, like you're getting approached by changes on all directions and you're not really sure how to handle it, but that's a, that's okay. None of us do. Okay. Um, does Lexus, um, right now this broadcast, just share it out. So share it to, um, your feed, a page, your front, anything like that. Just comment hashtag shared and I will get you a card. <clears throat> Um, so Trudy, um, it feels like you're being approached by a lot of different changes at once. Um, and there's a couple different ways you can face that, right? So if you look at the figures here, you can just kind of lay down and take it. You can plead with it. It's not going to change it. You can ignore it. It's still going to happen or you can accept it. Okay. And kind of go with the flow a little bit. Um, So here, you know, you have the figure of the, the kid, the little child down there um, trying to bargain with it, trying to – I'm just looking at the detail on this here. So anyway, all right. Dealing now. Okay. So right now, you know, again, change is inevitable and you can really just work your way through it, right? Radical acceptance sucks sometimes. And it really feels like you're what you want that you're like, okay, I just adjusted to this. And then something else comes, and then something else comes, and then something else comes. Um, so it kind of really feels like that kind of energy. But it will end, you know, the everything will settle down. So as I said, that October came into mind. So it might be a little bit, but it's coming. All right, Sunshine, you are next. I'm glad these got a little bit easier to shuffle as I've had them a little bit longer. When I first got them, they were very, very stiff and very difficult. <laughs> now it's a little bit easier. Sunshine, the star. Hope and inspiration. Absolutely, Turdy. So I just... Um, got out a couple of my um, Aquarius bags and the star is of course the the card for Aquarius and so I spent a lot of time with the star over the weekend and it's interesting because she's pouring she's the water bringer right Aquarius is the water bringer and it's the more you kind of look at it the more you feel like the water is just kind of like getting poured from the cups or from the pictures. Like it's this never ending like font of hope. Um, and that's kind of like that energy that you bring, right? You bring that energy to the table. That there's always hope, there's always a bright side, there's always optimism. Um, and it's like that very bright starry night, even though it's dark, you can still see. You can still see in the starlight. Okay, and that is for sunshine. So keep keep hoping, keep moving forward. 
All right. Um, Mick, you are next. If I ever pulled a card for you, Mick, I must have. I must have. Well, let's see. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is loss and grief and kind of in despair. So think of each of those cups holding those things, right? Loss, grief, and despair. Oh, Tammy, okay. Thank you for joining. Have a great night. So this is my first card for you, Mick. Um, five of Cups. Um, don't dwell on the bad stuff. Don't dwell on, you know, the cups that have spilled. Turn around, and I know this is not, uh, not your first instinct, but look on the bright side and see what you have and kind of take stock of what you have and have that gratitude, okay? Um, yep, I got you, Des. So it's, it's not just about loss. Um, it's also about what you have and what you do with what you have left. That didn't sound very good, right? <laughs> but it's all about making sure that you do see and recognize what you have left and, you know, don't cry over spilled milk. Um, but yeah, that's, it's, it's not, I, I hate to say it, it's, it's not surprising that that's the card that you get because of, you know, life, but thank you. Um, all right. Um, Jennifer Woodring, you are next. Um, and if you are just popping in right now, thank you so much. Um, I see some new shares so I have got you on my list and I'm just kind of working down um, the broadcast if you do want to watch the replay please comment hashtag replay when you do um, in the beginning good 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 uh, if you do watch the replay um, the beginning of the broadcast I talked about the pages and did a little mini lesson on how to read and interpret the pages it really isn't surprising, Mick. It really isn't. All right, Jennifer. Carrie, yep, I got you on the list. Jennifer, Ace of Wands. So through the, the difficulty, you know, through the past couple weeks, um, there is a there there is a moment of rebirth for you okay the ace of wands is that new opportunity that new offering of energetic energetic energy uh, that energetic boost okay that creative energy and i know you just got a bunch of new crystals um oh erica yep Um, so Jennifer, Ace of Wands. So you have that new burst of creative energy. Like I said, I know you just got those new crystals. Um, really have some fun with them, okay? So a lot of, so people will ask me this question sometimes, right? Well, I got crystals. Now what do I do with them? And the answer is whatever feels right. Um, I love crystal gridding. I don't do it nearly as much um, as I did in my old place just because things are not quite brought out yet. Um, there is, and Jennifer, what that means is you kind of have that energy kind of like creeping up on you and it feels like it's going to, 
you're going to be able to express it soon, okay? Um, but with, when you get new crystals, I just like to have them where you can see them. Um, you can like play with them. And what I mean by that is kind of like set them out in a way that feels intuitive and then do it again, right? Move them into your bedroom where you're sleeping. See how that feels. Um, put them in your um, living room. See how that feels. See where they feel the best, okay? And that's kind of that creative energy too, right? So Ace of Wands. And Erica, I got you next. You are right. I'm glad to see everyone too. And next week, of course, will be the Knights. All right, Erica, Five of Wands. It's another Wands card. This one is, um, it can be a little bit more contentious because um, fives, fives are always difficult, right? Yes, Jennifer, yes. Move them around. See where it feels right. See where it doesn't feel right. See where it's too much energy. I have to keep certain ones out of my bedroom because it just gets too, like, I don't know, zingy. That's that's a word. Um, but Erica, five of wands. So right now, really take a look at where in your life this is coming in. Something doesn't feel right. Something is out of alignment. Um, something, um, something is like, like bashing into your energy shield and that's so the image that i got is you know those like bug zappers that look like ping pong paddles <laughs> what what i what kind of came to mind was that's like your energy shield and, and like bugs keep zapping on it i don't know where these things come from but that's the image i got so erica really take a look at you know, who, who is like, who is zapping your energy right now? And then kind of take a look at what can be done about it. Maybe nothing. Oh, <laughs> right. So maybe you got to strengthen some like psychic self-defense. Um, and I know we talked about at some point before, I remember doing a reading for you and about kind of going outside and getting your own space. Uh, maybe, maybe it's something like that. Maybe you have to really focus on those times and not so much the other times. All right, Carrie, you are next. Carrie, Eight of Swords. So second time this popped up, gardening, yes. Um, so Carrie, Eight of Swords. For you, what I'm getting is you are building, def you're, it, it's getting defensive. It feels like you're getting a little bit defensive about things and trying to build up this wall around you like it feels like you started with two and you're working your way out and then once you're done you can kind of hang out in the middle and you're protected so i know it's not necessarily a typical traditional definition for eight of swords but that's what i'm feeling like you started here you built the swords out and now you're boxing yourself in because that feels like a a reflexive and a protective thing to do just just make sure you're not shutting out the people that are trying to help and the people that are supportive of you okay and I, I don't mean you know like friends family you know I don't mean actually supporting you but I mean the people that are there for you that love you and that care for you okay you know make sure that you are not blocking yourself from their energies because they will help you okay 
All right, Malegros, you are next. Dawn, hello. Okay, Carrie, good, good. Um, Dawn, sure. So in this broadcast, um, what we ask is that at three of at three of three of cups divine arts, we ask that you share the broadcast out. Um, so if you share the live, either on your feed, in a group, in a page, anywhere um, that you think people would enjoy it, please share the broadcast and then comment hashtag shared. And what that does is we're always trying to increase our reach. So that's what you got to do. Share the broadcast out. All right, Malegros, you are next. Got it. Malegros, Ace of Swords. So as soon as I pulled this and like said your name, I got like a, uh, like a tightness, like in my chest area, like anxiety. Um, it almost feels like you have this new, new platform to be heard and it's nerve wracking for you. It feels like you're like nervous about it. Um, or, you know, like public speaking, like if you have to give a speech, it was like that, like rush of like stage fright kind of thing. Um, so the universe is giving you an opportunity to be heard and that can be scary and anxiety inducing, but can you work through that? Okay. Can you get out there, work through it and really get that out there? Cause the universe is giving you that opportunity for a reason. Good. So it's going to take some like bravery and some page of page of wands energy here. Okay. Um, so it's going to take kind of muster that page of wands energy to just get out there and do it. And no matter what, Cheryl, you got it. Okay. Malegros, ace of swords, just get out there and do it. People want to hear you. You want to be heard, do it. All right, Des Lexus, you are next. And I do want to thank all the new people for joining. That is awesome. So that's that's how it works, right? Um, so if you are new and you haven't yet liked Three of Cups Divine Arts, please like or follow the page. Um, you'll not only get my lives, you'll also get Bridget Holbert. She does um, Mythic Journeys on Saturdays. And we are, you did it today. Awesome. Good job. I love it. Feels good now though, right? Um, Mythic Journeys on Saturdays with Bridget and there's going to be a ton more coming up. Cheryl, yep, I gotcha. Susan, hello. So I'm working down my list here. So does Lexus, you are up next. Three of Wands. It's three of Wands. You are ready to go. You have that. Good. Done. All right. Um, you have the plan in place. Again, this is for Des. And now you're just kind of waiting for that right time. Okay. It might not be the right time to take that next step yet. Um, but if you look at the ships here, it's almost like waiting for that ship to come in, right? You're waiting for that moment. You're waiting for that moment, and then you're going to take that next step. And that's okay. Um, it's okay to do things in the right time, at the right time. All right. Um, Lena, Lena Marcel, you are next. Yep, Don, I got you on the list. I do go in order. So you just gotta you just gotta be patient as I work down. Um, and again, if you are new, um, please catch the replay. You're gonna catch my lesson on all about the tarot um, pages. So all about their energies, their archetypes, how to work with them in a reading, how to um, kind of interpret 
um, when they pop up for you in a reading that you do or in a reading that you get. Um, Liana, the fool. <sighs> the fool, that leap of faith. Um, and I love the fool in this deck. It's all about wearing that like kick-ass outfit that you know is kind of weird, but you love it anyway, and you're going to wear it. Um, <laughs> hi, I miss you too, Tracy. Hi. Um, so it's like when you pull those pieces out of your closet and you have this like really like cool, like funky vintage flo flowery floral dress and you're like, this is a real weird thing to wear going grocery shopping on a Wednesday night, but I'm going to do it anyway. And you pair it with those gladiator sandals that you haven't worn in three years. And, you know, you grab your backpack because you need it. And you end up looking awesome. That's that fool, the energy of the fool. Um, so, Leanna, go ahead and step out in whatever you want. The universe is there cheering you on. And if anybody is there to kind of, like, naysay you or bring you down, you don't actually need that energy. Push it away. You know what you're doing. Go for it. Oh, I miss you too, Tracy. All right, Adrian, you are next. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is all about give and take and distribution of resources. Um, being generous is, is what popped out to me. Um, it's about really taking a look at what you have and how can you help share with others? Um, it's it's all about stepping in and, hi Gary, I'm good. Thank you for watching. Um, so Adrian, what can you do to help someone else out? And it doesn't, it's not necessarily money all the time, but it can be. Um, it's even about sharing resources or if you're done with something, you're not using something, you can pass it on to someone that needs it more. So it's all about not holding on to. Um, Carrie, have a good night. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Adrian, yes. So give and take. Um, remember the people that helped you out and how awesome that felt. You can also do that for others. And if you need the help, you can ask too. Okay, so it's about that constant, like, cycle, okay? All right, Cheryl, you are next. All right, Cheryl, this one popped out for you. Ten of Wands. <sighs> okay, so Ten of Wands is overwhelm. It's taking on so much at once. Um, and it's to the point where, like, you kind of add to the pile. And before you know it, it's you're carrying too much. Uh, because you're saying yes along the way and not really taking stock of where you are and how much you're already doing. Um, so it can happen slow, a little, it can happen slowly. <laughs> okay. Um, so Cheryl, yeah, 10 of wands. It feels like you started off picking up one of the wands and then someone came and put another one in and you're like, all right, that's not a problem. I got two. And then all of a sudden people keep like giving you these wands to carry and you're like, okay. But at this point, like you don't, 
you don't have any more room. Like you can't take any more on. <clears throat> and so make sure you're not taking on any more and try to prioritize, okay? Try to put down the wands and kind of pick them up in a way that's easier to carry, okay? All right, and I think Dawn did comment shared. She just didn't hashtag shared. So, oops, putting wrong card in the wrong deck. That's not going to help anybody. All right, so Dawn, you are next. And then Katie, and then I'm going to wrap it up. And yes, Doodles is yelling. He wants dinner. And again, um, if, please like or like and follow Three of Cups Divine Arts. Um, my page is Divination Station. Um, you can like and follow um, my page, um, Three of Cups Group. Looking to build that up. So if you're not in the group, please request to be added. Um, you can get right in there. Um, you can catch posts from all of the members of Three of Cups. Um, there's going to be a lot of new content in there, so it's definitely something that you want to jump on now. Um, what else? Oh, I am also booking readings again um, in person at Rising Goddess here in Buffalo, Buffalo area. Um, if you're not in Buffalo, um, we can do a distance. We can do it. Um, I like video chat, okay, because we can kind of interact that way. Um, you can always book with me. Please um, just give me a message to Divine, uh, Divination Station or my personal page is fine too. Okay. Definitely, um, I hope things resolve and you can kind of not carry so much soon, Cheryl. Okay. Dawn, Ten of Cups. So the energy that I'm getting for you right now, Dawn, is, so Ten of Cups is that like happy family energy. It's a happy ending, okay? And family is whatever you, whatever it looks like to you, okay? It's whatever you want it to be. Okay? Um, so right now it feels like your emotional, your emotional needs are being full, are being fulfilled. And things feel like they're pretty good right now, which is good. So just appreciate it and roll with it and see what happens. All right, Katie, you are next. Katie, Queen of Wands. All that fire energy and the little meow down there. So Queen of Wands, okay, is also known as the Witch Queen. Um, so what's kind of coming through now for you is, you know, make sure that you are staying in touch with your energetic your energetic driving force. Okay. Make sure you're in touch. Make sure you're still in touch with that. Um, and make sure you're kind of feeding that too. Um, yeah, get a little bit witchy. Okay. Even if it's just like a meditation or grounding, um, something like that. Okay. All right. Um, I do want to thank everybody. Thank you for my first time viewers, first time sharers, sharers. Um, I look forward to seeing you in broadcast in the future next week. Same time, same channel. Um, we will be looking over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we will be going over the knights. And then what? We have the knights, the queens, and the kings. Then I'll have to figure out something else to do. That's fine. 
Um, I don't know why I'm still shuffling. I'm done. Okay. Um, again, I want to thank you all so much. Um, wherever you're watching from, uh, make sure to tune in next week. And as always, um, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye. You're welcome.